Hey guys, so we're gonna try something else today. I'm just trying to see how high we are. So I don't want to obviously burn my phone. <laughs> so we're gonna make a, another heart today. We've made one. I don't know which one I'm gonna put up. I might just put both of them up. So let me get my glasses on. kind of clean up around here. The last heart I made was this little one and it was just really little. So all right, let me situate this. Wow that's really close though. All right well you're gonna see it close hand hopefully. So we're gonna use a desert pink today. We are going to make a long heart. Hopefully I have a mandrel that is going to be long enough for the amount of glass I need. And this looks like it'll work. I'm trying to get situated here. is a desert pink by creation is messy and you're probably not going to be able to see me use the press but this is what I'm using it's going to be a long heart and basically I just press the glass in there um, this isn't always the easiest press to use really long and skinny but I just start by making my base and then figuring out how much I need to go so this is where this is where the center will come up About right there stiffer. Usually it melts a little faster and easier. I don't like stiff glass because if you pull too hard you'll pull the release right off the mandrel. And you don't want to do that. Okay. So the hard part of this is I need to come up on the sides to make the actual heart. And I'm a lefty, so I'm going to turn my little press around here. I'm going to try and lower it a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Well, I don't know if that takes you out of camera view. I'm hoping not. I can't really see on this side. everything up and we're just going to keep pressing now okay and this is basically the fun part is building up the sides wings and I will probably just do one side at a time
drop that. I'm going to melt this side down first. So we're getting there. <laughs> it's going to take a little time. We got a lot of the center to clean out as well. All in due time. Beads like this, it's just basically building it up. And then you can take a tool and manipulate the glass while it's in there, and that way I'll know exactly how much more to put on and all of that stuff. But right now we're just doing the initial buildup. And this shape is a little difficult because it's a lot higher, um, it's a long heart. And that can make it a little harder. Okay, so get this little poker tool here. And I'm just gonna put it in here and I just kind of put it up where it needs to go. That's basically what I need to do. So now that I've got the initial shape of the press, now I just need to build this up. And again, if you're working with a stiff glass, make sure you're not pressing too hard you will pull the bead right off the release and then it's basically plant food. Okay. Now we're just going to draw dots all over here and we're just going to take it really slow to get it into the thickness we need to get it. And then be careful when you heat it up, because if you heat it up too much, everything will droop and you'll get them out of position. So you might have to manipulate it a few times to get it where you want it to go. Right now I'm just worried about the bottom. Okay. And you can see I've got a little bit of glass right here that squished. So this part right here is too wide. I'm just going to bring it up to the top. Okay, so, so this is the problem is every time you press, unfortunately, um, you start breaking some of that release. So I've got to be really careful. We're going to worry about the top. Again, be really careful so that it doesn't touch the mandrel in the middle. Push that down. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm already breaking the release off the bottom, so 
definitely going to have to be a little careful. And I don't want it so close. So I'm just going to heat this side up on its own. And it's going to start drooping away from it, which is what I want it to do. And I'm going to do the same with this. presses to work with. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so the left side looks good. The right side definitely needs a little more. And we've got a little bit of indentation right there, which means we need a little more glass. So we're going to add a little bit more here. working on the top. Okay. And we've got a lot to add on to the bottom. Now basically it's just kind of filling up the spots that need it. So I'm going to try and go as low as I can down here without destroying the heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it in a little bit, push it down. I don't have a whole lot of clearance right there. so. will be our bottom. Okay. So we're going to heat this up a little bit more because I want to really, really shape it. And then I'm going to add more on the top because I just went lower. I'm afraid of burning out the flame by doing that, but I keep getting little bits of release on the press and it will transfer over to your bead. So I like that. So, darn it, got a little bit on the top. So I still got maybe, maybe three millimeters to go up on the top. So I don't like the way that looks, so we're going to fix that right now. We really need more on the top here. I 
looking right here at this broken piece of release. So I gotta be really careful that I don't break it anymore. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick that in there. Make sure you keep the bottom warm too so it doesn't crack. And I see a crack. From there up. Okay. So. Gonna melt that in really good. We still need a little bit more. I mean, you don't have to go all the way to the edge. If you're happy the way it is, just leave it alone. I just have a habit of constantly doing that. All right, so now that you've already seen that part, we're gonna move that camera over a little bit. Now we're just adding just a little bit more. So you can do one side over the other. Yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. Squished out a little bit. I don't care. We're going to squish it right back in. And I'm going to look at the other side now. And as you can see, I got a little bit of space on the way top. So we're going to add a little bit more right here. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit right there. Still having problems with that area right there. And I don't like that area. So, this is where you just got to manipulate just a little bit. It's not really your traditional heart, so kind of reminds me of just an abstract heart. Okay, so let's put that back in there again, and I do see a crack on the bottom. So here we go again. Just got to make sure we keep putting this in the fire. I didn't realize it was out, but sometimes that happens depending on the glass. You just gotta make sure you heat it really good. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little element to it. See, this is a little lopsided. higher than this. So I'm going to come back in here, add a little bit of glass to the bottom. Oops, oh, still need a little more. So again, make sure you keep it in the flame.
get it down, then I'm just going to pull the heart up. It just does not want to be even. never win sometimes. See the top will crack, bottom will crack. Um, that's why you gotta constantly make sure it goes in the fire. Okay, and this is where you can pull out your, your low and your high spot. So we got a couple low spots right here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glass, not much. Just to kind of even that out. I think that's good. And then we're going to try and add some elements, hopefully. Um, I don't want to spend too much more time on this, especially in the press. Uh, we got a little bit of icky stuff in there. So I think one more press and then we're just going to not use it anymore. Constantly turning until we get that all melted down. Sometimes you have to help it along. Ugh. The American presses, they're a little tapered. The ones that you get overseas, not as much. And it makes it really difficult because you got to be right on the very top in order for it to go in. I wish they would change that and taper the tops a little bit more. Because by the time you finally get it in the press, it's already cooled down and you can't use it again without heating it up. Okay, so I think that's that's it. So now, I'm going to use some shards from a company called AvenueBeads.com. He's got the greatest shards. And all it is is just glass blown really thin. Um, I try and make some when I can. They're really fun to make. But they're really hard, as you can see, to pick up. And I really don't want this to crack again. So. Basically what you do is you heat them both up. And just lay it right on top. And it's going to do some funky things and it's just a really cool effect, I think. If you can pick them up and keep them in your hand, they're great. If you don't have grip like I don't, it can make it really difficult. Oh my gosh, and I just lost that under my my table there. And if I crack this bead because I'm trying to pick these up, I'm going to be really upset. Ugh, sometimes glass is just a pain in the butt to work with. like that though I want a little more do I dare use my hand Perfect 
piece right there. So we're going to come off of one side, I think, with it. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side. like we did with the other one there we go so we're going to leave that so that it's raised but I'm going to do one final one final press to make sure that our shape is still good and then straight in the kiln it goes done. I'll be interested to see what that looks like when it comes out. Okay, that's it basically. So I'd like to get that model effect, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're going to leave it alone so we don't destroy it. I feel like it needs something right there but I am really seriously afraid of trying it. So we're just gonna leave this alone and then I might make a another one later and add some swirls or something to it. Okay, so that's it. Go straight into the kiln. And that is our part. So I hope you guys like that and you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later, bye.